Okay, welcome back to part two, formulas and functions, CIS 120 Excel project. Uh, basically what we're doing in this part of uh, the project is we're looking at different revenue sources, monthly average for revenue sources, annual total for revenue sources, and then how they relate to one another as well. So we'll be using some formulas, we'll be using some functions. Uh, let's see, part two, step number one. In cell B2, we're going to create a formula or function that totals January through December sales for online reservations. So we could do it the really, really long way equals D2 plus DE2 plus F2, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, we've got 12 months and there's got to be an easier way, right? So I just hit the escape key to get rid of the, all of that and I'll hit equals sum. We'll use the sum function and we'll define a range of cells D2 colon, let's see, December is O2. Close that parentheses and you'll notice our range is selected here. When I hit the enter key, it should give us a total. Okay. Uh, step two, create a formula or function that totals the same thing for telephone reservations. And we'll just go ahead and do the same thing. Equal sum, and the cell references are going to be a little bit different here. We'll say D3 to O3 and close the parentheses. Again, the correct range is selected. And for cells B4 and B5, we want to do the exact same thing, but we're going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to click on B3, and I'm going to use the fill handle, and the fill handle is going to drag this down. Now notice, as we click on cell B4, the sum function actually changes, the reference changes, because the reference is actually uh, what's called a relative reference. So a little cheating going on, but we, um, we can call that um, efficiency. <laughs> All right, um, so we're done with step four. We're going to go to step five here. <clears throat> and in cell B7, a grand total, we're going to create a function, not a formula rather, but a function that adds the annual totals of all four categories. So using what we did, we should be able to uh, use the sum function again, and then use a different range. The range is going to be B2 colon B5. So everything between B2 and B5, including those two cells, will be included in our function. So we hit the enter key and we've got our uh, answer, which is uh, a little over 1.5 million. Step six in cell C2, now we're dealing with average, which is going to be very similar, just using some different wording. In cell C2, create a function that displays an average for online reservations, and then we're going to repeat that for all three categories. So, new function, average, and then uh, the same range, D2 colon O2, and we'll go ahead and press the enter key. Now instead of doing what we did the last time, we're just going to use the fill handle and fill it all the way down. Okay, um, so that's what we've got, our monthly average for all four categories. We've also got our totals for all four categories as well. Uh, once we save this, then we're done uh, with part number two.